Hey, 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 it's what's cooking. And I think we're cooking. It's so hot. Um, my goodness, I can't even get over how stifling warm it is outside. And Philip is next door and he's in the pool. Isn't he lucky? Um, so if there's a lot of commotion that comes um, on shortly, it's because Philip Fredrickson is walking in the house. And with that will be both Luna and Mackenzie. So, making sort of a twist on um, old-fashioned food. Hey, Heaven, how are you? So, I'm going to make green bean casserole, but I'm adding um, cremini mushrooms, and I have really good, um, beautiful, like, bright beans. I've already seasoned with pepper and a little bit of Mediterranean seasoning. I'm gonna layer everything, okay? So it's gonna be like a green bean mushroom. Um, hey, Philip. I just started doing this, hoping that you'd get here before, before that happened. Hey, you guys. Okay, to that, the traditional um, mushroom soup. Okay, and then we're going to put Gruyere cheese on top of that. So it's definitely a little bit of a twist on the traditional, but one of those old favorites. Do you know that Trader Joe's does not have crispy fried onions until um, Thanksgiving? It's seasonal. So we don't have that to put on top, which would have been extra awesome, but we don't have any. Oh my goodness, those doggies are thirsty. So you heard me say doggies. There's two right now because we are babysitting and hopefully for the rest of her life, um, I pray, I pray, I pray, babysitting um, little Luna. Okay, so I'm gonna add this. Spread it out. I'm on um, Philip. Hey, Philip. Philip Fredrickson. I heard him. I heard him come in. Hey, babe. Hey, baby. I'm uh, doing my little cooking gig. Ah, how it goes. Well, I'm making like a green bean mushroom casserole thing. And I'm saying how you couldn't find those crispy onions anywhere, which is so weird. Well, not right? anywhere, just not a Trader Joe's. Right. Okay. Gruyere. Who is lapping up the whole entire bowl of water? It's going to be the one who's going to throw it up when she turns around. Oh, Mackenzie? Nope. Oh, Luna Lou? Mm -hmm. Wow, she's thirsty. Okay, so this is going to be awesome. I'm going to put more cheese on in a few minutes. Um, I just don't have any grit at the moment to do, so I'm going to move that out of the way. And then in this bowl, I've already sauteed chopped mushrooms, chopped onion, and chopped garlic. And so I'm making a meatloaf. I'm going to use turkey and beef. And by the way, today is national. You know what it is? Um, hamburger day. Is she still drinking that stuff? Yeah. Holy man. It's, it's, like, it's basically ice. ice. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna put some Lipton soup mix in as our big Oh, it's National Lipton Soup Mix Day? No, it's National Hamburger Day. Oh, that's what I said. Oh, but I'm making like meatloaf instead of hamburger. Kinda looks the same. Okay. You can so, fry it up and put it on a bun and be hamburger. Exactly. So again, I've already sauteed mushrooms, onions, garlic, and I'm adding it, um, the soup mix to it. So it's gonna be extra moist and yummy. Is that the Castle Rock uh, top one? It is, it is. What do you think? Um, it's good. So on the, um, the green bean mushroom thing, I'm gonna put pork rind crumbs, keto friendly. So I'm gonna put some, in, ooh, not that much. I'm gonna just sprinkle it to give it a crunch. And you did need that much. Huh? You did need that I did, one. actually. Okay. You know, you could just buy a bag of pork rinds and smash them up and dump them out. I could. I don't think they taste you as good. You could get the flavor coming in. Ugh. Yeah, I don't think they taste as good. Um, oh, I haven't tasted those. No, this is just plain. It doesn't really have, like, huge seasoning on it. Okay. So, we have that going. And then we're going to add a package of beef and a package of turkey. Did the lunatics have fun? Yeah. Were they behaved? Luna got along really well with Jan. She, 
She did? Sat on her lap the whole time. Probably. No way. She they were kind of a little bit whiny, and then when I went in, they were totally quiet. Aww. Silly gooses. Okay. Oh, trash needs to go out. It's I don't really smell cold. any uh, fumigation. Do you? Oh, no, no, no. Not after all these hours, Bella. Oh. Yeah, that's why we had the dogs outside so that they were safe. Gonna throw some parsley in here. You know you have your sunglasses on. Philip is sitting at the kitchen counter with his sunglasses on. We'll add some crushed red pepper to this. Now the cool thing is what's cooking back there. Oh, I better stir that a little bit. Why, what's cool about it? What's I have a bacon pancetta tomato jam I'm making. So, it is sauteing onion, get pancetta, dice it up, bacon, dice that up, let it really simmer and saute for a really long time. And then I added two cans of diced drained tomato and I added a can of tomato paste. And I'm gonna just cook that down and I'm also gonna add some brown sugar. I was gonna say, it needs a little sweet somewhere in there. Yep, so it's gonna get a few sprinkles, two sprinkles probably of brown sugar. And I put some pepper in there. Oh, and now a little drizzle of balsamic glaze. All right. Did you hear it? This is going to be good. Say hi. Hello. Mackenzie wants to play, and Luna hasn't learned how to play exactly when, when Mackenzie wants to. So that is gonna be awesome. And then on the meatloaf, we're gonna add some Parmesan cheese. So we're gonna get the mushrooms in there and the onion and the seasoning. What a goofball, she must have inhaled them. Aw. She didn't chew them up. Um, and you wiped them off, I hope, before they came in. Yeah. Because if not, they need to be me. everything. Remember? Well, we always wipe their feet. feet, their face, their bottoms before they come in the house. Ooh, this is going to be good. To this, we're going to add some more because um, we're not using breadcrumbs because we're doing keto. Okay, some more of that pork rind stuff, some of the cheese. All right, and then we're going to add to the girls' eggs. These were just laid this morning. Okay, oh, look how beautiful that is. And then another one. Usually we smash up these little um, eggshells and give them to the cheeky chews. They love those. It's, I think it's one of their favorite snacks. Oddly. I know. I know it sounds really weird, but chickens need protein and, calcium. or calcium because of their bones, their little chicken bones. And uh, when they lay eggs, they get rid of a lot of their calcium. So it's important to give them something like, um, we give them dried shrimp, dried oysters, um, crushed up chicken, uh, chicken shells. What else? Those are pretty much, That's mostly oh, we give them, um, what are those bugs that they like? Those bugs. Yeah, those aren't calcium, I don't think. That's protein. Oh, okay. Yeah. So today they got Me frozen worms. Mealy worms. Today they got some frozen, um, Cantaloupe, because it's so flipping hot out there. And cabbage. Hey, Patrick Bailey, how are you? Hey, Chris Anderson, how are you? Hope everybody's staying nice and cool. So this um, tomato bacon pancetta jam is going to cook down until it gets nice and thick. Looking pretty yummy. This is going to go on top of the meatloaf. So it's going to have a little bit of a, a slant on just, you know how some people put tomato paste or ketchup or something like that? We're not doing that. We are putting a 
bacon, pancetta, tomato, balsamic glaze jam on that. All right. Watched a tent go up on our next door neighbor's house, termite tent. That was kind of wild. Man, those guys walk on the roofs. Like, they, I literally think they could wear stilettos and walk on a roof. They just do it so gracefully. Um, so the tent is on. It looks like a circus next door. Um, our new neighbors will be hopefully moving in in a couple weeks. But good to have that done. All right, so we have the old-fashioned... I can't remember if I put parsley in. I don't remember. I think I might have, but I have to put a little bit more in. And I don't remember if I put any of these Mediterranean seasonings in, so we'll do that. I already put salt in the mushrooms, so I'm not doing that. And hopefully everybody's been getting out and checking out some of the restaurants that are open, um, doing such a great job of socially and physically, um, staying social while you're physically distant and wear your mask. Okay, so I don't wanna actually touch this, so I'm just gonna stick it in here and then smoosh it on down. All right. So it's half of the turkey, half of the beef. It's got the mushrooms all sauteed and diced up. Onion, two eggs, I almost dropped that. Gosh, you can't even sit outside right now, it's so hot, you know? You have to uh, have the air conditioning on and fans and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so that's that. And then we're gonna have an arugula salad with fresh lemon and um, fresh lemon, olive oil, salt, pepper, super simple, and some shaved Parmesan. So that is what's cooking over here. Philip showed property yesterday in Rancho San Diego, Chula Vista, and Escondido. I think he said he put 156 miles on the car. Tomorrow, Santee, here we come. San Marcos, here we come. And Scripps Ranch. So that's what we'll be doing manana. Okay. Ta-da. So that's going to bake covered. And then once I take the cover off, I'm going to put some of the bacon um, tomato jam on there. And that's about what we're up to. Oh, and look what, I'm so excited. It's pump, little PB pumpkin time. I love this time of year. You can only imagine my favorite color being orange, that I love this type of time of the year. I don't know where Philip went. Um, I was hoping he was going to come in here because it's hard for me to just talk by myself. Um, but hopefully everybody is staying healthy, safe. Man, give a huge shout out to all of our teachers um, and everything that they're going through, educating these children and um, doing it in a Zoom environment or some, in some cases they're actually at school. And then also to all of our um, working parents who are getting their kids to be educated in this whole new format of learning. Uh, I can only imagine how difficult this must be for everybody. Um, I need you to kibitz with me, dude. What do you want to kibitz I don't know, about? Chat me up. Talk. Okay. Tell me what's going on. Anything new? Mm, hot out. That we know. Over 100. Crazy hot. Anything else? I think we're just now chattering down on some ice cubes. Oh, yeah. My brilliant she thing. She doesn't even like ice. I know. It was my brilliant thing to put ice in the um, water dish, and boy, oh boy, oh boy, they're taking advantage. Um, so, we have two doggies at the moment from um, Westie Rescue of Southern California. I rescued um, Skylar, Hunter, and Mackenzie, and now we are babysitting, but hopefully we get to babysit forever because we've all fallen in love with little sassy pants. Um, Luna, correct? Did you yeah. see? Look, look at this. Looks like meatloaf. It looks pretty darn good. And look, it's like an old-fashioned dinner with like a twist. Little meatloaf, a little green bean casserole, and then we're gonna have a nice arugula lemon olive oil salad with some shaved parmesan. Hmm. Which I would not be able to do any of this without you going to the grocery store all the time. Well, so thank you. 
You could go to the grocery store. And so then this bacon, would still get that. this bacon tomato okay. jam. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think this is going to be good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do you like chill that before it's? No, this is going on top in the oven. Ah. So what I'm going to do is cook this um, for like an hour covered. And then the last 15 minutes, I'm going to take the cover off and glaze it with that um, jam. Keep extra jam glaze on the side. Yeah. You better not put ketchup on your meatloaf tonight. I love ketchup. I'm going to hide meatloaf. the ketchup. No ketchup. Let's see who's there. Um, Steven, hey there. How are you? You just got back from showing a house in... Santee and Rancho San Diego. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so weird. Philip showed property, and it's 106. Philip showed oh, really? property um, yesterday in Chula, as Chula Vista, as well as Rancho San Diego. And, and Philip and I, Valley. and Spring Valley. Philip and I actually used to live in Rancho San Diego when we were with our other people in our life and had no idea that we lived less than a mile less away. A mile. And one of his best friends lived right next door to me. And once a month, Philip parked right in front of my front door. Once a week. Once a week. Once a week. And we never knew Shocking. it for years and years and years. Like, that's wild. Yeah. Like serendipity. I bet you how and many times. And you know who it was, Dr. Gerald. Yeah. Yeah. That's just. He was your neighbor. <laughs> that is wild. And now yeah. I go to Dr. Gerald for bio tea therapy. And if you've never had it, it is like the gift from God. Google B I O dash capital T, bio tea. Um, it is fantastic for, like for me, I'm hypothyroid. And. I just found out that my thyroid medication was recalled nationally because the medication wasn't um, at the levels that it was supposed to be. And I've been wondering why I'm tired, like I feel like I'm gaining weight, all these weird things. And I went to the pharmacy and they're like, oh yeah, it was recalled. I'm like, well, somebody should have told me that. They did. So yeah, finally. <laughs> so they did a compound um, process which my insurance doesn't cover for the tune of $100, but the pill is cool, it's turquoise. So I'm on day two of that. Um, so hopefully it will give me more energy. Because the next time you want those pills to be orange. I know, I bet they could make them orange, for sure. So um, we talked about the tent going up yesterday. We talked about little Luna. I would pick her up and show you, but I'm cooking, so I can't do that. And then, um, what else is going on? Showing property. Showing property in the morning. Yeah, boy, talk about trying to find a house for somebody. Woohoo! Multiple offers, crazy craziness going on. So it's a it's a wild market out there for sure. With these well, you interest need a good rates. and creative buyers agent. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like us, we rock and we mm -hmm. fight for our our buyers and our sellers. So. And Heaven, thank you so much for my beautiful necklace, my heart necklace. I don't have it on right now, but I've worn it multiple, multiple times. And I will promise to wear it when I do one of my little cooking gigs. I um, haven't been in the kitchen, even though I have been cooking. I just haven't been doing it um, on Instagram or Facebook recently. But I shall. And celebrate. Somebody go out and get a big, giant hamburger today. Post on our Facebook what kind of... Uh, burger joints are your favorite. Do you like In-N-Out if you're in San Diego, California? Um, what are some of the other famous burger places? Five Guys. Oh, yeah. Five Guys is Hat good. The Habit. What's that? It's called The Habit. I don't know. It's oh, The Habit. Burger place. Is it Habit or Hab... I thought it was Habitat. It's Habit. It's Habit. Oh, that's funny. Um, there used to be The Counter. I don't think we have any of those anymore. Oh, that one. Yeah, I think it fixate out of business. So. Those are the real hamburger joints. Yeah, not, and then not McDonald's, not right. And the Huntress is now open Wednesday through Sunday, so you need to go see Chef James. We're going to go tomorrow at 5 p.m. with Dr. Kwong and hopefully Nurse Samantha, both of which are our clients but also our friends. So it'll be fun to go down there and see Chef James. And um, Sunday we're going to Espinosa and celebrating our dear friends Mark and Ann and spending the day with the Espinosa gang bring a picnic and all kinds of fun stuff. Hopefully it won't be as hot. What's the temperature going to be? It's supposed to be much cooler on Sunday. Because it is tricky sitting out there for this long. Or so it actually starts to cool off tomorrow. 
Oh, look, it's already dropped all the way down to 96 now. Ooh, awesome. Hey, I'm telling you, this smells yummy. It's a cold front moving in. Um, so tomorrow is supposed to be a high of 90, and Sunday a high of 86 okay. up here in sunny Escondido, right, which so really means about three more degrees higher than that. I don't taste my food typically ever, but this I can't, I've never made. I'm sort of winging it, and I want to make sure that I don't blow it because, you know, I want it to have enough sweet but salty and savory and tomatoey. But it's going to be hot. If I made my quesadillas for you, you couldn't resist. God, this is freaking awesome. This is really good, Philip. I'm sure it is. All right. This is the bomb. Mmm. And it's got a kick. Because, of course, it has that black pepper in it. It's really yummy. All right. So everybody stay healthy, stay safe, wear your mask, um, be polite, be kind, check your neighbor. Um, our friend Jan, we were visiting with her, and always make sure she's okay. And she makes sure we're okay. And she made us this delicious summer uh, marinara sauce that you actually serve cold over hot noodles. So edamame noodles for us, 24% um, or 24 grams of protein. And they're really good and you can get them at Costco. So other than that, um, we are gonna sign off. I think Jan's going to a drive-in movie tonight in, uh, is it San Marcos? Yeah, it's at Cal State San Marcos. San and Marcos it's Mama. Mama Mia. Philip, you would love to go see that. Thank you, thank yes, you. let's go see Mama Mia. I, I, you know what, I'll just play the soundtrack tonight. What do you think? Yeah. And dance around and make it be the share. Judy, Judy can't stand share journey or oh. what's that group? The one that plays in Mamma Mia? Um, Alba. <sighs> Honey, they're like so Alba. fun. They're awesome. I'm telling you, you love share though. Um, yes. If you say no, yes. you're moving out, dude. You'll have to yeah, sleep yeah. on the lounge chair in the hundred degree weather. He's ixnade out of here. Um, hey, Lori Hall, everything is good here. Um, just letting you know as far as right now with fires, other than we've got these crazy smoky skies with red sunrises and very eerie red um, sunsets. And we've had them, I would say, almost a month, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. So I know I keep saying I'm going to hang up, but I don't because I keep talking about stuff and stirring stuff. But that tomato, um, pancetta, bacon... Um, jam is the money. So, all right, gonna flip on over um, shortly and see if Jay from Queer Eye for a Straight Guy is going to be doing his five o'clock show. Um, he could be filming right now, we're not sure. And um, let me see. Uh, he, he loves Gloria. Um, trying to see what people are writing. It does sound good. It is good. It's going to be yummy, yummy, yummy. All right. Stay physically distant while staying socially connected. Thanks for checking in. Be safe.